All right, let's get ready to get this bike out here. Single tester on it. I just remembered I gotta tighten up the fork bearings a little bit. So that means I got to loosen up this nut, loosen up the pinch bolts, tighten that nut that's up under there, get some drag on the front end so it doesn't flop over like that. That's too loose. It goes over too easily. And then after you get that where you need to be, then you retorque these back down. If you don't loosen these up, then the trees have to spin like that. So I'll do that. And I just noticed my socket was broken. Bam! Had that for a lot of years. I've been using that for over 40 years. Junk ass SK. I'll go look for another one. So now we're going to use my uh, Craftsman. Got a bunch of those. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and loosen this up. Get what we got to get done here. It's starting to get dark already, so I guess I'll be riding in the dark. Oh well. It is what it is. You want to put this against the fork lock so you don't have to hold the handlebar when you're gripping on it. So we go on the other side to do that. To do that, you gotta use a punch or a real thin screwdriver. I prefer a punch. Something small and skinny like that, maybe. Might be too big. Hope it gets in there. Tighten this nut down, it will tighten up the fork a little bit more because it'll take up the gap and the threads and compress it. Tighten that down, probably get a little bit tighter. We'll see. Oh, yeah. How much tighter it got? tight. It's real tight in the center up in here. Too much. Almost hit me in the head. Okay. 
So I'm going to bang it back just a little bit. bad on this side, a little snug and then it does fall. Feels tight right in the center though. I don't think it's the cables. Typical the cups aren't even. up a good half a turn. about a third of the way it should drop on its own. It's a little bit draggy right there in the front. But it's good to decide. close. Uh, let's see, do you want to go back a little bit or leave it? Um, a little bit drag doesn't hurt you. I think I'll leave it. See if it gets any tighter. Yeah, I did. Definitely did get tighter. Alright, one more flat. One star back. A little bit of torque. It's tight. Feels good. Right there. Boom. Pull it over. Feel it back just a little bit of torque right in the front, not too bad. And once you get to about there, it takes off. There you go. Just good. You can tighten the bolts back down here, your pinch bolts. Don't forget to do that, it's going to be a pretty weak front end. And I have seen these loose before. Check it, make sure nothing else moved. Up there, looks about the same. It's a little torquey right there in the front. 
too bad. Tighter that direction. Yeah, that side's a little tighter. It's a little tight on that side. Barely wants to fall that way. But over here, there it goes. So, cups are not square. They're worn weird or made up not concentric or the frame is not flat when you beat them down. All of that makes the cups uneven. Alright, feels a lot better than it did anyway. Alright, before I ride this thing, I probably should check to make sure there's fuel in it. It'd be hard to ride it very far without fuel. About half a tank. That would be enough. Alright, I think it's ready to get out of here with this thing. Light it off, see how it runs. I haven't run it in uh, months, so it's been probably two months at least since we ran it. We'll see. Tools. Always need your screwdriver to adjust things. Now this thing is probably wet sump, which means the oil is not in the tank, it's in the motor. So when you start it up, keep it low RPM for a minute or so, let the oil get back to the tank before you start rubbing it. So it'll take about 10 miles for everything to equalize in the motor. Start dead cold like this. Been sitting for a while. All right, get this out of the way so I can get back in here later. Oop, I'm blocking the view. All right, let's crank this thing up. See what we got. Let's 
switch should be on. Spark plug to us. So test spark plug, check for spark. Just take electric just take a spark plug, cut the electrode off, and you have a spark plug tester. This one down an alligator clip on it, so just hook it onto something. But just lay it against anything metal and it'll be fine. Alright, switch was working correctly. So we got spark. Not sure about the fuel part. Put the pack alk on reserve. Should have enough fuel to make it do what it needs, but it doesn't act like it's getting any fuel in it. See if the carburetor's wet. Next thing is pull the ignition cover off, make sure it's well we know it's spark, and I saw that one. Straight blade. Fuel in the carbonator. Looks pretty dry in there. Yeah, there's no fuel in the carburetor. That's, uh, maybe that's why it doesn't start. No fuel! So, what do we got? No fuel in the carbonator. That clock's on. It's been on. Yeah, off, on. Always reserve. Always reserve. Should be flowing like crazy. So why do we got no fuel in the carbonator? All right. That explains why it won't start. All right, let me get some tools. We'll be back.